I'm gonna tell you one thing I noticed about Johnny Walker. If you go and look at the people he beat, he beat people who made mistakes against him. First off, like this video and subscribe. But the next fight, we're gonna move on and look at Paul Craig and Johnny Walker. And you know, one thing about Paul Craig, that last fight he had, I was so confused. When he fought Volcan, I didn't know if he won a 10, eight round in some of those rounds. I don't know if he lost a 10, eight round. I don't know how you score those fights where you pull in guard, but the dude is so dangerous. You kind of have to score that for him because he's finished so many people with that but then at the same time you putting people into your guard but sometimes they might end up in your mouth and it's just it's just wild but I'm it's like they're still they're still in danger and they're still scrambling to get up because they don't even want to be there i'm glad you said that because even in paul craig's fight against nikita Krylov, nikita was on top of him landing crazy ground and pound and yes he submitted him eventually with a triangle but he took a lot of damage and also he got finished by Alonzo Minifield. And Alonzo was able to land just crazy ground and pound on, on Paul Craig. You know, so that's nothing, even though it's like uh you live by the sword, die by the sword type of thing. Cause we also see him take a lot of damage on his back too. I know. And then speaking of live by the sword, die by the sword, we got Johnny Walker burst onto the scene with well, when he actually got to the UFC, knocking people out with all kinds of stuff. You see here flying knee spinning back fist, elbow. Then you get knocked out by Corey Anderson. Why was you fighting Corey Anderson? That was too much in 2019. Then they give him Nikita Krylov. No, it wasn't. They was trying to fast track him like they did Jerry to John Jones. Cause remember everybody was saying no, he was struggling. Bad. They were trying to fast track him like how they did Jerry. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying I agree because oh, yeah, yeah. they were saying that Johnny Walker, his size was gonna give John Jones a problem. So they were trying to fast track him. So yeah, you're right, they were, yeah. they did. So then uh, he got a win over Ryan Spann, that was mostly Ryan Spann fault. And I don't like that performance, man. He was getting hurt. And Ryan Spann had him hurt and was going for takedowns. And that was mostly, it was a good job by Johnny to stay in it, but that was mostly, that was 90% Ryan Spann fault. But then we get up here to Tiago Santos. Not a lot happened in this fight, but Tiago got the decision. And you can kind of argue he won that fight. That wasn't a really a bad performance. Because neither one of them did too much. Yeah. But there's just somebody had to, and then you get a picture of Jamal Hill where he was absolutely starched. Yeah, he could stay at home that night. Could, you know. But then shook back with a win over Eon Kudalaba. They throw you Eon when they want you to get back on track. That's just the guy that they kind of do that with. You want to tell you one thing I noticed about Johnny Walker? If you go and look at the people he beat, he beat people who made mistakes against him. Like Kudalaba took him down. Kudalaba took him down and then he reversed position and ended up taking his back and submitting him. Ryan Spann had him hurt. It was one for takedowns. Uh, Misha didn't get a chance. Justin didn't get a chance. Yeah, but Misha, didn't but Misha got caught with a flying knee. That's kind of that's like a rookie, amateurist type of mistake. Certain guys in top 10 are not going to get caught with a flying knee like that, man. He, like, uh, Maga Man not going to get caught with a flying knee. Because at the very least, he'll wrestle. Yeah, so I'm saying like he's beating people who are making mistakes. Either the, they... Can I say it again? Because I'll put Oh, he's beating fighters who... They historically, they made a bunch of mistakes in their fights or they made mistakes in the fight against him. I don't think Paul Craig is going to make a lot of mistakes, man. And I think against top tier guys who don't make mistakes, I don't think he wins. Okay, but I got a question for you. Is Paul Craig about to pull guard with, you want big Johnny Walker in your guard? That's my question. Because standing yes. up, there is nothing Paul can do. Yes, I do. I want him in the guard because Johnny, he doesn't have the highest fight IQ. I hate to say it, man, but so even okay. That's I think there's oh, there's opportunities. I think it's fifty fifty because there's opportunities for Johnny to sleep him, but I think it's also opportunities for Johnny to make to make a mistake. And real talk, that's Paul's only chance here because standing up is too dangerous against Johnny Walker. I it's, even think it's too dangerous. I even think Paul Craig can like play possum, pretend like he's hurt, and suck him in, and then submit him. He better relax though, because they fighting in Brazil, and playing possum, you might get uh, what's the dude that did that against. Kutsalaba did against Manga. That's Manga what I'm saying. Man. And it didn't yeah. work. Ever. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll play that game. You fighting somebody in their own country and you go to playing possum, they might really call that fight off. I think this fight, this fight is going to determine who's who's elite 
I don't know how to explain it, the bottom of the elites, because both of them kind of been hovering around a certain yeah. level where they've never, yeah, they're both mid-tier, but I think whoever wins this fight, they're going to be the bottom of the elite guys, if that makes sense, man. Even if it's just rank 10, hovering around the 10 rankings or whatever. Yeah, I think one of these guys might get put into this Neil Magny category here pretty soon because it's almost like they can beat a whole bunch of people, but then they get to a certain level and then they kind of reach their ceiling. But the thing is, there's one thing though. Paul Craig, he got that win over Magomed. I know that if he can win, he put himself in a position where he's only lost one fight since 2019. But he got to throw some hands though, because I think the way to beat Johnny, sometimes Johnny struggle against fighters who has like good technical straight punches, but boxing. But you know what's odd? Paul's striking looked good against Volcan. You know why though? Because Volcan didn't know if he was just striking just to try to go for a takedown or pull a guard. And it left so many, there were so many times where they had exchanges where Paul did whatever he wanted to Volcan. He just don't have no knockout power. He's not a, a threat on the feet. And so as long as this fight is standing up, man, it's going to be tough for me to pick Paul. And but I just can't, but we can't act like Johnny Walker has the best striking ever. He just, I know, but the fact that he can knock you out out of nowhere. When, when was the last time he did that? Though? But look at the people he fought that he had to be careful because Dude, look at how dangerous Jamar Hill is. Look I'm at how sorry, dangerous. Man, but knocking out Misha, Serkinov, Justin Ledet. The Khalil Roundtree was a good one, but that was his uh, UFC debut. Okay, what if what if Paul goes for a takedown like Ryan Spann did and, and, get, and just get knocked out out of nowhere? I don't think Paul Craig would do that. I think his entry would be a little bit smarter. His entry is going to be a pulling, pulling guard. guard. I know. So so now you got this man on top of you, and then he can't even get the fights to the ground. How Paul how Paul Craig get the fights to the ground? But the only thing is Johnny, like you said, is not a high fight IQ fighter. He's an action fighter, live by the sword, die by the sword. I think this is a 50-50 fight right here. Yeah, man. I, I would stay away from betting this one if you're doing parlays. I think they might their skills might cancel out, man. Because if you look at who they lost to and who they beat, the only thing is the only difference between these two guys is who Paul Craig beat. He beat Jamal Hill. He beat Magomed. He beat Shogun. So Johnny never beat the guy in the top 10. I think we, didn't we say that in the prediction of Johnny's last fight, we say he never really beat nobody in the top five, in the top 10. Justin Ledet, they, what, half the people he beat not in the UFC no more. And Khalil from five years ago. Yeah, look, Justin Ledet and Misha not in the UFC no more. You beat people who are not in the UFC. But for Paul to win, he got to get the fight to the ground without getting dropped. Man, I don't know how Paul would do it. He can get the job done, though. I gotta I just, go. I gotta go with Paul too. Yeah, because I don't know how, but if if Johnny had to start relying on his submissions yeah. for the last fight, because standing up, he was just getting into too much trouble with Corey Anderson and Nikita, Tiago Santos, and Jamal Hill. Even some of the, the action pack fights, he got knocked out. The fights that were slower, he just didn't do enough to get the the fight in his terms to make it clear that he was winning. You know what that mean though? That mean when you overly aggressive, you ain't winning. When you're not aggressive enough, you ain't winning. Your back is against the wall. Now you start using submissions, but now you fighting against Paul Craig. I Man, I gotta go with Paul Craig some, think some way somehow. I'm going with Paul Craig, but I would not doubt if Johnny knocked yeah. his behind out in five seconds. See, that's I what I was gonna say. That's what I was gonna say. I was going. I'm going with Paul Craig on this one. It's a low confident pick because I don't like to bet against Johnny Walker because he's so dangerous. But I don't like to bet against Paul Craig because he's so dangerous, and they're fighting in Brazil. So hopefully he don't make the mistake of just getting too hyped up from the crowd and putting himself in a bad position because Paul can take advantage of that. I got to go with Paul here, man, yeah, but this is, again, low confidence. Yeah, John, Johnny can go in there and do a front kick knockout think, in 10 seconds. I think man. at the very least, Johnny can put together a game plan and just avoid the ground like Volcan. Volcan, the only thing Volcan did was avoid the ground. So I think- Volcan least, got a wealth of experience and Volcan fights differently. Well, I don't care if it's three rounds or five rounds. His fight IQ higher His than, fight IQ is way higher than Johnny's. True. No, because we always talking about if Johnny do this, if Johnny do that. It's like, bro, that's over with, man. Yeah, so I'm going to go with Paul Craig. Yeah, too, but it's going to be a good fight, though. I ain't going to lie. That's a good way to start to get the main car going.